Hey guys, what's up and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing all of my favorite pairs of denim for petites. So as you guys can see here, I have a ton of different pairs that I want to share. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different pairs of jeans that are honestly some of my favorites. It's taken me so long to find jeans that actually fit my petite frame right, like especially if I want distressing, the hole isn't in the right place, the inseam's always too long. You guys are probably in the same boat watching this video, so I've done all the hard work for you. I've rounded up my favorites, and I'm going to be talking about every single pair, what I like, if there's anything little that I don't like about it, I'll make sure I share my honest opinion. And I'll be doing a quick try-on with every pair of jeans so you can see what they look like on. And for reference, as you hear me talk about the fit of all of these jeans, I am 5 feet tall, exactly. I weigh 100 pounds. I usually wear around a size 24 in jeans if they're not petite sizes and I'll say for all of these jeans if they're a regular fit or a petite fit specifically and of course I'll make sure all of these jeans are linked in the description box down below if you want to check any of them out if you guys want to see any other petite fashion I definitely think it'd be fun to film um, if you have any suggestions feel free and leave them down in the comments below and we are going to get started so I have skinny jeans to mom jeans to straight jeans we're kind of just gonna go down the line and I am actually going to start with my absolute favorite pair of jeans ever. We're just going to start with the best, the number one, and that is the Topshop Jamie Jean. My first pair of Topshop Jamie Jeans I got probably about four or five years ago now, and I still have them in my closet. They are a black pair, and I actually just got a new pair about a month ago. I just decided, you know what, I've had those other ones for so long, I don't know why I'm still wearing them. Overall, they're still in really good condition. I could probably wear them for another year and it'd be okay, but I do feel like, you know, four or five years, they've definitely gotten their money's worth. It was just time to get a fresh new pair where the black is really black not as faded so in my Topshop jeans I do like to get the petite sizes and that's one reason why I love Topshop you can find petite sizes on Nordstrom or the Topshop website and the reason that I like to buy these in petite is because they come in a 28 inch inseam so they are actually ankle length no tailoring no cuffing the bottom they are ankle length on you I also like these jeans because I believe the rise on them is like 10 inches so they're definitely high-waisted they'll come up to your belly button and overall Topshop Jamie jeans they just fit like a glove they are the perfect amount of stretch but also a little structured they're just one of the most comfortable jeans I could ever have I will note though that Topshop jeans do run a little bit small like I said in the beginning I'm usually a 24 in regular size you know like jeans pants skirts whatever but in Topshop I do prefer a 25 24 is okay I have a couple pairs in a 24 but sometimes they can just feel a little tighter than I care to wear all day but yeah that's enough about this first pair 10 out of 10 highly recommend and then my second favorite pair of skinny jeans is from Abercrombie and Fitch these are the high-rise super skinny ankle jeans I got these in a 24 and it also says 00, zero short um, I like that Abercrombie has started to do like short, regular, and long inseams, so I think that definitely helps. These are also super comfortable. They're even more high-rise than the Topshop ones if you prefer something that goes definitely above your belly button. They're also really comfortable, you know, honestly, I'm not sure why this is my number two to my Topshop jeans, but I'll give these like a solid nine out of 10. And then lastly, this was kind of a hidden gem, but I actually have two pairs of Free People jeans that I'll be sharing um, in this video today. This is a pair of skinny jeans. I also have a pair of mom jeans and they are by the We The Free brand. They are a size 24 and these also fit like a glove. The only thing is that I did have to cut the hem on them. They were a bit long, but because these jeans were already distressed all over, I didn't really care cutting off the bottom. But overall, the waist, the hips, even where the rips are, fits absolutely perfect. Um, I would give these jeans a solid 8 out of 10. But the reason that I love We The Free jeans so much is because they are so stretchy and soft. I will honestly say they are more comfortable than the Topshop jeans just because of how soft and comfortable they are. So if comfort is your number one priority, I would recommend trying out a pair of these. And then moving right into my second pair of Free People jeans, these are the pair of mom jeans. I've had these for about a year now, absolutely love them. I also had to cut off the hem on these, but once again, distressing all over, didn't really care. Sometimes I like the look of the unfinished hem even more than a finished hem. These are also a 24 and 
what can I say? Said it all in the last one. And sometimes I just really like the distressing that Free People does on their denim. Like they do a lot of small hits all over and on the back as well, they have some here. Also, Free People jeans, just how they do the seam on the back in kind of a V, it makes your butt look so good. And that's always a plus. So there's nothing more to really say about that. <laughs> okay, pair number two of mom jeans are these from Express. I'm not sure exactly what fit they are. Oh, they are the slim ankle super high rise and I got these in a zero zero short. Express was also an underdog. I really wasn't expecting to love these jeans so much. Um, also have some distressing on the bottom. These I didn't have to cut. They are ankle length and these are also one of those super comfortable soft pair of jeans. They aren't super stiff and rigid like Levi's and I quite frankly prefer my jeans to feel really soft and comfortable because I like to wear them all day and don't want to feel the waist like cutting into my stomach at all by the end of the day. But yeah, I would give these jeans a solid like seven and a half out of 10. I don't think that they wash the best. To be honest, I would definitely do them on like cold cold maybe even hang dry them don't put them in the dryer but they are quite affordable um, when you get them on sale as compared to like the free people jeans because I think I got these on sale like 50% off and they were around $40 so if you're looking for an affordable and like solid pair of jeans um, these are definitely worth a try but of course if you want to splurge on a solid pair of denim I will always recommend Madewell they are known for having really high quality denim this was actually my first pair of Madewell jeans and I think I sized down in them they are a 23 petite and this is the perfect vintage crop jean. These jeans are definitely a little more stiff than all of the other ones I've shown, so if that's what you like, then I would recommend trying these out over some of the other ones. I personally like the way that they're more like mom and street jeans fit over the skinny. I don't really know why, just something about it. It seems like these fit my frame better, but because I got them in a 23 petite, the inseam was also 28 inches, so it was perfect, didn't have to cut it, and the distressing on it is in the perfect place right over my knee. Doesn't look noticeably long on me, which is sometimes a problem in regular size jeans. So I will give these jeans a solid eight and a half out of 10. And then the final pair of denim that I have are from Princess Polly actually. And I just wanted to throw these into the mix while they're not really a staple because jeans like these are the super straight, with like blown out hole kind of style are really in right now. I see it all over, you know, like TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, whatever. And I surprisingly found a pair that fit me really well. And I didn't think that I would because of how small I am, but these are from Princess Polly. They are a size zero and personal, like personal opinion, best way to style these jeans if you're petite is to do these with like a crop top so that at least like the top of your frame is showing because they are quite baggy. It's kind of, Good to balance it out you don't want to do like baggy on baggy you know what I mean and then I also like to style them with a pair of heeled booties and then just kind of have these over top I think that looks so cute I tried to do the like straight legged jeans with sneakers look because that's also trending a lot right now but something about it just looked a little too frumpy that may be like my own personal style I didn't really like that look but at the same time I just want to make sure that my baggy jeans look a little bit elevated at the same time but yeah these jeans do fit great they are just slightly big around the waist um I wanted to wear a belt with them regardless so that wasn't really a problem but all through the legs they fit Great, so I did want to include these if you guys are looking for a nice, trendy pair of straight-legged denim. You know what? We got through all the jeans that I have on here, but I thought I might as well just throw in the ones that I'm wearing right now. These are the Yoko jeans from Aritzia. Sorry if you can hear the dogs barking outside. Okay, I think they stopped. Um, these are the Yoko jeans from Aritzia, and the only reason I didn't really want to include them in the lineup is because they are quite an investment piece. They cost like twice as much as some of these, so unless they fit you like an absolute glove or you get them on one of Aritzia's seasonal sales, I don't really recommend purchasing them just because you can get like two or three other pairs of jeans for the price of one. But at the time that I bought these jeans, I couldn't find any other like mom or straight style denim that fit my frame really well. So I was like, you know what? I found these, I love them, I'm gonna buy them. And I still have no regrets. I'm wearing them on repeat a year later 
and they still fit like a glove and have absolutely no wear to them. They're just a really solid pair of denim. There's something about them, I can't really describe it. You know, you just put on that pair of jeans, they fit like a glove, they feel like they're gonna last forever, and you just know, like, yes this pair of denim belongs in my closet. All right guys, I think that is everything that I have for you today. I just feel like I absolutely blasted through all of my favorite pairs of denim. But I hope that you guys found this video really informative and let me know if you guys love any of these pairs of jeans or what your favorite petite jeans are that maybe I haven't tried out yet because I am always looking for a solid pair of denim. Like I said before, all of these products will be linked down in the description box below. And if you wanna see more petite fashion content, please let me know because I would love to film more. So with all of that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.